What's up, Seven Figure Agency members? I hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, I know it's a little bit late on the East Coast, uh, East Coast right now. I'm in California, just wrapped up our, our two-day event, learned a lot of great things, lots of great insights. Um, uh, and yesterday, I said I'd come on live and I'd share some cool insights on how to show up uh, for videos and really just get a little bit more confident, get a little bit more resonant, and get even better results when you do videos. So I just wanted to pop on, do this quick Facebook Live, make sure I have this available for you. What's up, Melanie? How you doing? Um, so so a, couple, a couple things. First of all, you should be doing video um, on Facebook, on Facebook groups. I'm going to be talking more about Facebook groups, both um, like prospect Facebook groups inside your niche, as well as customer Facebook groups where you have your clients aggregated in one centralized place. But you know, with that, in order to build your authority, in order to build your influence, you need to be creating video content that solve problems, that engage, that give people the opportunity to know, like, and trust you before they have to do business with you. Um, you know, that's worked really well for us in our, in our digital marketing agency. I think you, you know, as you kind of look at, at what we do, um, we do a lot of video, we do a lot of webinars, um, we're active in our, in our Facebook groups, um, in the plumbing and HVAC space. And so it works well, and it's something that I highly recommend you guys you guys do. But um, I just wanted to share some cool insights with you and some cool strategies to give yourself a little bit more confidence and make it so that you can step up to the camera and, and just kind of feel confident, make sure that you resonate at the highest level possible. And um, you know, if nothing else, just give you like a 20% increase in how well your video converts. Melly says, I need more light. You're right, it's, uh, it's six o'clock on the West Coast. Um, and so I'm just doing a quick Facebook Live to wrap up the day and kind of share some of these insights. Um, all right, so for the first thing, what you want to do when you get on to do these videos is make sure you're speaking to one central person. You know, usually for a long time I would do these videos and I just say, okay, I got a topic and I'm just going to kind of ramble. Really the best way to, um, to make sure your video resonates is speak to one particular person. Like, uh, you know, for me, sometimes I get on, I'm like, I'm speaking right now, I'm speaking to Alan Hillsburg, and I wanna help Alan get clear on how he can be better on his videos. And when I do that, my video is better, it's more resonant. And so you wanna do that. Think about one of your ideal prospects, the people you like to do, do business with, and speak to them. Your video will be much better. The second is do something to get yourself into, into state. That's like to get your energy up, to get yourself energized, um, one of the things I like to do is just rub my hands together really quickly, kind of get my energy going. That way when I start the video, it doesn't feel like, you know, okay, hey guys, what's going on? But I've got a little bit of energy coming into it. The third piece is to make sure you follow some kind of, some kind of flow. And if you've got a, a framework that you follow, it makes it a lot easier, right? And so for, you know, for me, it's a quick introduction. Hey, my name is Josh with Plumbing and HVAC SEO. Um, here's what I'm going to talk about on this quick video, right? How to use video, how to um, get your website ranked. Dive right into the, the content, usually lead with the challenge that people usually face when they're doing that type of thing. Um, and then make sure that you have a, a call to action. So like tell them to do something, comment below, share this with someone that you think could benefit from it. Um, go to this page to download this particular report. Um, one thing I'm doing more and more of just based on research is on Facebook Lives and things, rather than, uh, and you guys have seen this, rather than sending someone off to a link, I'm suggesting comment below and I'll reach out to you. Um, there's two reasons for that. Obviously commenting um, means there can be a conversation that can start, but also it makes you more relevant as an influencer. When you're posting video, if people are commenting on it, like Melanie's doing right now, um, it, it gives that, authority, that video more authority and um, ideally more uptime in other people's feed. So have a, have a call to action. And so with that, what I'll say is, um, I have developed a, a one-page video flow document. Just kind of outlines how to kind of map out your video so that when you get on, you can be, okay, who am I speaking to? How am I getting myself in the mental state? And then what's my flow? How am I gonna cover this in a very quick, you know, one to three minute type video? So if you want that, post in comments. Uh, video framework and I'll be glad to share that with you uh, right away and so that's all sorry about the lighting uh, it is late at night and I will say one thing on that topic so today Melody mentioned the lighting's not great uh, yesterday Howard mentioned you know wouldn't it be better if you had a one of those uh, gimbals that kind of stabilizes it and makes the sound quality better and the answer is absolutely yes would this video be better 
in the, in the light? Absolutely. Would it be better if I had a gimbal out? No doubt. With that said, never let perfection prevent you from taking action, right? Never let perfection prevent you from taking action. You create friction if you start to tell yourself, oh man, I don't have the gimbal today, right? If I had done that, I wouldn't have created one video this entire weekend because I left the gimbal at the office, right? So as opposed to that, I said, you know what? I don't have the gimbal, but it's more important that I create the content and that I show up than I have perfection, right? So yes, it would be better, but I was able to create content. I posted to the Facebook group. I've posted to the personal page. I've shared into the prospect group as well. We've gotten a bunch of comments. We've gotten a bunch of feedback. And so if I let that sense of needing perfection prevent me from taking action, we wouldn't have gotten any of those benefits. And so just remember that. I think that might be a critical insight from this particular video. So post in the comments and I will get you the uh, video flow framework ASAP. And I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Checking out from uh, Southern California right now and about to head back to Miami. So I'm on a red eye. I will be flying all night. So wish me luck and have a great weekend. What's up, Ciro? Hope you're doing well. Great to see you. Glad to have you in the membership. What's up, Danny? I see all those thumbs up coming in. Thanks for doing that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab some dinner with Jeff and we're gonna jump on the plane. All right, guys, talk to you later.